Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for hanging with me on this Sunday. And if you've taken some time out of your busy schedules to support the channel with comments and likes, I really do appreciate that. All right, so a big worm, a Texas rig 10 inch worm is a staple in the months of June and July. But as we get further on into the year, that bait goes from being a big fish bait, a numbers bait, basically anytime you're fishing grass or in structure, you can catch the winners on that bait. But it just seems like everything that a bass likes in a lure in the fall months is the opposite of what makes a big worm great. So if you do like to drag a worm, this is not the end of worm season. I just think it's the end of big worm season. Now, let's go back to when this bait is catching big ones and why, because I think that's very important to kind of explain why this bait works so well. So a 10 inch worm, the allure of it is that slow glide. It is a natural offering to the bass. Bass eat a lot of eels, lampreys, and worms in the summer month. They have to eat a lot. A easy digesting fatty protein food is going to be on their menu. Now, again, it is slow. You're fishing it around humps. You're fishing it around grass. And the grass isn't topped out yet. The grass hasn't grown up very high yet. So it kind of just stays right in the perfect strike zone. As that grass gets up higher, you can't really get the bait to fall the correct way. You could put a bigger weight on it. But again, that's taking away from the allure of the bait. You want that slow glide. Now, this is a much more versatile bait than I think a lot of people give it credit for. You can flip a 10 inch worm around docks. In Florida, they throw it around lily pads in the pre-spawn. Now, I think it's very important to note that Florida, the water never really cools off. You know, the water is warm year round there. Even in the January and February months, it doesn't get much cooler than 60 degrees. Those fish are basically a tropical fish. So there you go. It is a warm water bait and it appeals to fish that are living in warm water for the easy digestion and all that. They have a fast metabolism. They've got to eat a lot. As we get into fall, there are a lot of other Texas rigs and worms that work a whole lot better than a 10 inch worm. So if I'm gonna be flipping or something like that, Texas rig, three quarter ounce, ounce and a half of weight. If I need to be dragging a worm, it's gonna be a drop shot with a longer leader. Fish this time of year, if they're not feeding, they're coming off the bottom and suspending. I like about a foot to a foot and a half liter when any, whenever I'm drop shot fishing rather. Now, baits that get to the bottom quickly, very natural offerings. Fish are feeding heavily on shad and they're very keyed in on smaller threadfin shad. So like a little robo worm is a great fall worm. Again, that bait is going to shoot to the bottom. You don't want a slow fall. You don't want the fish to get a quick look at it. So you want it to go to the bottom quickly. It gets their appeal. And when they swim down to it, then they see something that looks slightly like a threadfin shad. So that is very important this time of year. Now, the worm dragging thing is not over. You can continue to throw a worm. It's not the best bait to search for in a time of the year where you do need to do a lot of looking. You do need a lot of casting and running water. But... If you do have some places where there are fish, a drop shot is one of those baits. Now, if you have grass or you have laydowns, I really like to pitch a jig and pitch a Texas rig with a heavier weight. That quick fall, I think, is very important. So this is the time of year where I get away from that worm. It just seems like when I do get bit on it, it's smaller fish. I just don't feel like I'm getting my bait where it needs to be to get the bigger bite. So try that, guys. Good luck to you, and I'll see you on the water.